by his power. Raise those hands again to Jesus. Raise those hands again to Jesus. Raise those hands again to Jesus.
Yesterday when I was a bit free because I did so when I came to threshing, you know how that was. After the threshing, I was just happy going, but yesterday night I could not sleep. The pain was that bad that I couldn't drive this morning because it was even my laps. I couldn't trust. So my sister took the kids to school. In that afternoon, I wanted to go to my I called my mechanic, he helped me. But when I when the school closed, I went to school and I came back. When I came to my house, she saw my face and I said my leg could not carry me. I don't understand. But I must come for this. Even my sister was like, the man is sick. I said, now nah, I'm going. So when I came, when Pastor Kezai was ministering, she sang one of my best songs. That's always one. When she was singing it, I know, in fact, it was a surgery because I didn't know what happened. But I know see this champagne, I see something, they were losing something. And when that thing left, all my tummy that was so I became this way. I know sometimes that something was, if I see something was coming out of me. I stepped out, that was when Pastor was coming. I went to the toilet. Something was coming out of me. I don't know what to do, but I believe it's part of the game. I want to return all the glory to God. What I want to Jesus Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Can, 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 I think you guys should remove this whole picture. Yeah. Because this, this, this is a theater. This, this is a theater. This is a theater. Can you sing that song? Take the stage, Lord. Have your way. I'm just the best And nothing more The Holy Ghost is doing surgery When you are done Tubes. 
every woman with any irregularity your menses or your men it is corrected now in the name of Jesus when I have this menorrhea painful menstruation or menorrhagia every menstruation or any form of a menorrhea God is creating, God is restoring. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Whenever they are true. You know, the last time I sang the song, if I can remember, there was a boy here who had a hole in the heart. Remember? It was the same song. And there was a lady that had breast cancer, which was the wife. They, they were operating on him, they were operating on her, and they permitted him to see the operation. When he got up, the hole was blocked. When she got up, she was totally healed. You can't tell God what he will do. You can't tell God what he will do. Yeah, oh, sure, we'll do this. Praise the Lord. I want to bless the name of the Lord for the healing today. Because for years I've been battling with ear issues. So the thing made me, I, I couldn't listen to music at all. What's wrong with your ear? What's wrong with your ear? Nothing. They are just the Lord to be pain. At times, water will start coming out. Which of the ears? The left ear. So as of last two weeks, it, it appeared again. I went to the hospital and the doctor said I now have ear infection. From ear infection to ear cancer. So I was you said, you said you have ear cancer. So from there I was so scared. In the hospital. In the hospital. So I dropped everything about music. In fact, I depressed it again because I don't feel the joy of just playing it with my phone. So, and I also avoid noisy environment. Even if I come to church, I won't even stay close. At times I will just lean to the wall because I don't want the noise to get to the ear. So today I came and stayed at that wall because of the noise. I was surprised that I stayed up to 10 minutes without leaving the church. So while the white person was praying, saying I was praying, holding the ear, I was just looking at him, holding my ear. So he said we should check the ear. Before, as of this evening, if I touch the ear, I will be feeling some noise and some substances coming out. So I checked it again, I couldn't feel it. But, but the funny part is, there are some noise the tea used to make, but now I can hear every noise happening. Yeah. Yeah. So, how long have you had a problem with the ear pain and ringing? It's been more than 10 years. And you've taken drugs? You've gone to hospital. I don't have any drugs and patients. You have drugs you're taking. Then you said there was a discharge that started coming out of the ear. Was it bloody or plain? At times. Oh, you're fine. At times. Can we give Jesus praise for this prayer? They are not saying that they are not saying when they are true, you'll be fine. At times, at times, blood will come out. In fact, each night, if I want to sleep, I have to get a cotton wool to cover the ear and lay with it. And if I wake up, sometimes you get them yellow substance just filled in that cotton wool. But today, you came here, you put your hand, when you put it out, the place is dry, the, the pain is gone, the ring is gone. And I'm going to get something clear. You see, the doctor said you have ear cancer. From ear infection to ear, to ear cancer. And she said that she goes to another doctor because of the fear of everything and not to be But I don't. But today, you know, do you know we nearly cancel is there a glory? Yes, sir. Yes. Because you know we've been busy. As I'm here, I'm very tired. We've been busy the whole of last. We had healing school for eight days. And I was going to work for three of those eight days. So I'll, by, by Saturday night, I was I was I was just weary. Well, weary, weary. When they say weary of well-being, it's a practical stage. And I said, Lord, we have to finish Sunday night. So I carried my body to church. And I carried it till night. And guess what? On Tuesday, I was up to a with another miracle program. Dear life, you know, 
of Kiwi and just came in yesterday. There was no reason why this person would have held, but you know, when God asks you to do something, you do it. If these, you see the kind of testimonies we are hearing today, they're just crazy. Come. Can we give Jesus praise? Maybe you are the one, I don't even know which one. I think you are all the reason why I preach this message. Creative, restorative miracles. Everything that has been destroyed has been restored. Everything that may have been missing has been recreated. Everybody stretch out your hands. And I've been talking to the Lord about cancer for some time. Now, you devil of cancer that got in through the ear or whatever means in the name of Jesus come out pass 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 enter her no more in the name of Jesus now Lord where's my soul 100% perspiration 100% Destroy be restored. Elohim. Elohim. Hallelujah. 
for some time now, I've been having problems with my right wrist. In fact, this bone that is here, I can't even press it. If I do, I will shout. At times, I can't even lift something. If I try lifting, I will Cross have to shout again. before I lift Jesus. that thing. So when we were praying, I was actually trying to test the hand. I was twisting it and trying to carry something and I noticed I could move the hands. Because at some point, I thought it was fast. You know how devil can oh, 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 play with our hair? I was like, ah, is this a try this at this age? Please, I'll carry my children, not this hand, but my right hand. I said, no, my children say, go to the hospital. I said, I don't want to go to the hospital because they must see something. But I know God will handle this. And I'm home. You're fine. They said you should have pains there. And this bone used to stick out kind of like. That's the way it is. Yes, but if I press it, if you press it, I will shout. You will shout. Yes. So, no shouting. No. Bend it. No shouting. No shouting. You are fine. Thank you, Jesus. Can we give Jesus praise? Hallelujah! And he's a miracle. I don't know what you're trusting God for, but God is a miracle worker. Whatever he eat, whatever it is, he will do it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hundred percent. Oh, you are Trust me. Go. You never have it again. Jesus. Yeah. What was wrong with you? Okay. Good evening, church. Good evening. Yeah, I came in. Uh, in fact, for a week or two now, I've been having this serious pain on my feet. Like. I had a half of my hand was great. So since then, most nights when I sleep, I feel this pain in between my legs. So I was praying that God, this shouldn't be a crisis, but started from my head, and then it's my feet. So I came in, in fact, it was making me ask to pull my shoes, and they asked us to pray. I had to sit down and tap the feet and started praying. I know it took me long to uh, come outside because I was actually doing my check-in. So I was checking and checking. Check where is the pain? Where is the pain? I'm twisting, I'm twisting I'm twisting my leg. In fact, I went outside because most times stepping on towels, I feel the pain more. So I went outside to step on towels and see if I need to feel it. No pain. Wow, can we give Jesus praise? Father, we thank you. When you're done, please take the road. I'm just satisfied just to see you. Thank you, Lord, hundred percent. Everybody, just lift up your hands. Father, I pray for everyone that is still sick that as they go. They will be totally made whole in the name of Jesus. Just like you did for the ten lepers. As they went, they were whole. By the time they get home, by the time they wake up, they will find that they are totally whole in the name of Jesus. Including the people watching us on the screen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Can we lift up our hands and thank God for all these testimonies? And for many more that we will hear creative and restorative miracles. What is service? Lord. You are faithful to your word. You are faithful to your servant. You are faithful to your people. Thank you for all that you have done tonight. Thank you. Many more. We'll still hear many testimonies as a result of this meeting. In different areas of our lives. Where you will great. Where you will restore. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And everybody say Amen. Can we put our hands together for Jesus? Just take out your offering very fast. Lift it up, Father. We thank you for the privilege to give. Let's thank you for miracles. We honor you. We bless you. Be exalted. We praise in Jesus' name.